welcome to the lecture series of mechanics of solids in today's lecture we will learn about lamis theorem outline of the session in this session you will learn about lamis theorem we will also derive the equation for lamis theorem so let us start with lamis theorem this is the statement for lamis theorem it state that if three coplanar forces acting at a point b in equilibrium each force is proportional to the sine of angle between other two let us try to understand with the help of figure so according to this theorem if three coplanar forces acting at a single point let us say point o and this all three forces are in equilibrium then each force is proportional to sine of angle between other two it means p is proportional to sine alpha q is proportional to sine beta and r is proportional to sine gamma so this is the equation for lamis theorem this theorem is very useful for solving the problem when three forces are there now let us try to prove this equation so we'll start with the figure here let us consider these three forces p q and r which are coplanar forces and acting at point o alpha beta and gamma are the opposite angle of p q and r respectively now let us draw force p and force q graphically to make a parallelogram here two line oa and ob are drawn this oa represent force p and ob represents force q the angle between force p and q has been taken gamma according to the original force now let us consider these two forces p and q at adjacent side of parallelogram so first let us complete the parallelogram now complete the parallelogram oacb now from geometry this angle is alpha so we can write this angle is 180 minus alpha here this angle is beta so this angle will be 180 minus beta from geometry this angle is 180 minus alpha so we can write this angle as 180 minus alpha same way this angle is 180 minus beta so this angle will also be 180 minus beta now let us complete this triangle oac and apply the sign rule so according to sign rule oa divided by sin a c o this ratio will be equal to c a upon sin c o a and o c that is divided by sin o a c now here uh, let us apply geometry and work out all these three angles so from geometry all three angle have been work out here angle aco that can be write as 180 minus alpha angle coa can be write as 180 minus beta and we want to now we want to determine this angle ac we know that the summation of all three angle of triangle is 180 degree so we know this two angle 180 minus this two angle will give us this angle oac so angle oac that is 180 minus angle aco minus angle coa here the value of angle aco and angle coa has been equated and on simplification the value of oac has been obtained as alpha plus beta minus 180 
here we know that summation of alpha beta and gamma is 360 so we can write alpha plus beta that is equal to 360 minus gamma right total angle is 360 360 minus gamma will give us this summation alpha plus beta here value of here this value has been equated and on simplification angle OAC has been obtained as 180 degree minus gamma. Now let us substitute all these three angles in this equation. So the value of all three angles are equated in equation number 1. We know that sin of 180 minus any angle it will give sin of that angle so here sin of 180 minus alpha we can write sin alpha same way sin beta and sin gamma in addition to that we know that oa that is force p ca that is force q and oc that is force r so we can write p upon sin alpha that is equal to q upon sin beta that is equal to r upon sin gamma so this is the required equation of lamis theorem this equation is very useful for solving problems when three coplanar forces are in equilibrium thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt or query please write in the comment box i will try to solve it Thank you, thank you very much.